hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i want to teach y'all how to make this spring slash summer cardigan because it is not cold anymore but that doesn't mean we can't still wear cardigans so here it is it has bigger holes just so it's lighter than your average crochet cardigan and yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with somebody who you think would like to make a cardigan like this and make sure you tag me in your instagram pictures or just send me whatever you make just so i can see your finished product and hype you up a little bit <laughs> but let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial I use three skeins of Hobby's Lollipop yarn. It's a weight four and 382 yards. 6.5 millimeter hook, some scissors, measuring tape, and a yarn needle to weave in ends. So first you wanna make a slip knot. And now to make a chain, you just wanna yarn over and pull your hook through yarn over and pull your hook through and repeat that until you make the width of your sweater. I like to hold it up to me just to see how wide it'll fit. Now that our chain has reached our desired width for our cardigan, we want to go into our third chain from the hook with a half double crochet stitch. To do one, you just want to yarn over, go into a chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops. Again, you want to yarn over, go into a chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through the remaining three. And here is another half double crochet. And you just want to keep doing half double crochet stitches into every chain stitch until you reach the end of this row. Now that we reach the end, we're just gonna place one more half double crochet stitch into our last chain stitch. And now we want to chain up two whenever we turn our work. And now into that first space, we want to place a half double crochet. And then in every space for this whole row, you want to place a half double crochet. So don't go into the stitch, make sure you just go under the stitch into the space in between the half double crochets of the last row. And you want to do that until you reach the end of this row. So once you reach the end, rather than going into the last space, you want to go into the top of the last half double crochet. And now you just want to chain up two and turn, turn your work again. And then you want to do a half double crochet into that first space and into every space for the remainder of the row. And remember in our last stitch, you don't want to go into the last space, but go into the top of the last half double crochet stitch. And then you want to repeat the last row until your cardigan has reached your desired length. My back panel ended up measuring 22 inches wide and 25 inches long. So our front panels will be exactly half of our back panel. So since mine was 50 stitches wide, I want to make my front panels 25 stitches wide. And then I wanna make sure that I do the same amount of rows for the length of my front panels. First, here's my back panel and then my two front panels, which is half of the size of the back panel. So here and here, which is the same size when they're put together. Before we make the sleeves, it's important to go ahead and attach the front panels onto the back panel. I'll be attaching them with a single crochet stitch, but you can attach them in any way that you want. And here's me just counting up to 25 stitches just to make sure it is in line with my front panel when I attach it to the back panel. And now I'm just going to connect the back panel and the front panel together with a single crochet stitch. And I'll do that until I reach the end of 
the row, I guess, or just the end of attaching them together, if that makes any sense. And I am a little out of the frame, but I am going to push it down in a second once I realize it. But yeah. And while I single crochet my panels together, I like to also hide these ends into those stitches just so I don't have to weave them in later. And once I reach the end, I just want to chain up one and cut my yarn and tie off. Now you want to grab your second front panel and then attach it the same way that we just did and they should meet in the middle since your front panel should add up to be the same as the back panel. So at this point I sewed the front panels onto the back panel. So let me center it first. So here we go. And now I see how this portion will fit and I see that my sleeves need to start at this point of my arm. So I'll go ahead and grab my measuring tape about, I'll make it go to the highest point just so we know that the sleeves are long enough. So right here, down, which is about 17 inches long. So I know I need to make my sleeves 17 inches long at least. So for our sleeves, we are working from the bottom up. So that means we're starting with our cuff. You wanna make sure you make your starting chain wide enough to fit around your wrist comfortably. So here's me just making that chain. And keep in mind that your sleeve has to go over your hands too. So make sure it can go over your hands and not just fit around your wrist. And again, you wanna go into that third chain from your hook and place a half double crochet and continue the row by placing half double crochets into every stitch. Unlike the front and back panels, we want to increase from now on. So we're gonna chain up two, turn our work, and in our first space, we want to place two half double crochets rather than just one like we used to do. And then for the remaining row, we want to place one half double crochet into every space until we reach our last stitch, which we will place two half double crochets in that last stitch as well. Now we've reached the end of our row. We're gonna go ahead and place one more half double crochet into that space. And then into our last stitch, we want to place two half double crochets and this will serve as another increase. Now we will chain up two and turn our work like normal. And in our first space, we want to place two half double crochets again instead of one. And then for the rest of the row, we want to place one half double crochet into every space until we reach the end of the row. And you want to go ahead and place two half double crochets into our last stitch like we did with the last row. And you want to continue doing increase rows until your sleeve has reached your desired width. And after that, you can just do normal half double crochet rows until it is long enough. So here is my finished sleeve. I increased for a total of nine times and then I just did normal half double crochet rows until I reached 17 inches. Now we just want to fold our sleeve in half and get ready to attach it to our vest is what it is right now. So just make sure you center the fold of the sleeve with the attachment of the front and back panels, like the seam, if that makes sense. And then we're just going to attach the sleeve onto this vest looking thing with a single crochet stitch like we did before. And here's what it looks like once I've attached it with the single crochet. And now we just want to sew, well, single crochet the sleeve closed as well. And here's what it should look like when it is 
single crocheted closed and now we're just going to move on to single crocheting the side of the cardigan closed as well so the back and front panels we can now sew closed with the single crochet of course and here's what it looks like when that is single crocheted together closed and you just want to repeat those steps onto the other side and you're done. And now that everything has been single crocheted together, you want to weave in those ends if you haven't already and turn your work right side out so the pretty side is on the outside. But yeah, you're done, finally, good job. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And again, make sure you tag me in your creations. I would love to see them and yeah.